Hi guys, it's me Iman. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a, a makeup tutorial. Um, it's been a minute. I haven't done one of these, but I'm not done doing makeup. It's just that, you know, I don't like to wear makeup as much. So this is like my first time wearing makeup after my birthday, February 21st. And today is April 25th, so... So I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I do this look all the time if I ever go out or do photo shoots or even go to like party events or something. Yes, it just matches with everything. Um, and yes, I am getting ready. I am staying in my basement, getting ready, taking pictures, doing a photo shoot, all that jazz, staying up until uh, SETI. But anyways, that's what I'm going to be doing. But anyways, let's just begin with this tutorial now. I'm going to be doing like a chit chat makeup tutorial because like I haven't done those since like I think when I did my prom look. I don't know. It's been a really hot minute. I haven't done like YouTube videos so this is kind of uncomfortable for me right now. But I feel like my, I don't know. I, I, I just, it's been a minute so. <sighs> So first things first, I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't really like to use these on the on under my eye eyebrows. What? <sighs> Bear with me, y'all. First things first, I'm going to be priming my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape. I am in the shade tan. Um, I don't really like to use this under my eyes because this is too cakey and it's too thick for under my eyes. Plus, it's not my shade. They don't have a large selection for my type of skin tone shades. Um, so I just use it for my eyelids. But yes, I'm going to be blending it out with my beauty blender. And I bet all of y'all brown girls, not even brown girls, but like girls in general out there, I bet you guys are so sad because <sighs> your guys' eyebrows and like this and like other areas have to be like cleaned waxed and all that and the salon is closed so it's not like you can go out and it's a struggle like right now my eyebrows aren't bad but they're bad like i would rather have them like this this is like my go-to eyebrows when i first get them done they are really sharp and i like them um uh, but right now it's it's well i i'm gonna be doing another video of attempting to do waxing on my brows so let's see how that goes Okay, done priming my eyelids. Next, I'm going to be taking the Milk Primer to... to I just put it right there because, like... It's, like, under my eyes. It just gives me coolness. That's it. Okay, I'm going to let that breathe in. Okay, I'm going to be taking the Fabulous Subculture Palette by Anastasia. I heard a lot of bad reviews of this product but anyways so next I'm going to be taking my subculture palette and using a few shades from this uh, if you guys don't know this is a limited edition product they sold out check your local Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Burlington or something cuz I got mine from Marshall so 50% off but anyways just be careful because you know most of their products are kind of expired so just check that before buying it um, just a quick tip the first shade I'm going to be taking is um, Roxy in my crease and I did put a lot for some reason on so this product does give you a lot of fallout so just be careful next I'm just taking like a smudge brush and taking fudge and just putting this on the outer and inner um i inner and outer corner of your eyelid it doesn't have to be clean it, it could be messy so i prefer it messy because like you know you can blend it all out after so next i'm going to be taking this shade right here which is called adorn 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 just taking that on my ring finger and just putting it on 
the center part of my eyelid. So now just take like a blender brush, whatever, and blend all of those good. I sometimes do take like the dark brown shade and just put it like in the crease if I do want to define it. Um, but not always, but sometimes it's nice because like, right now you see like the orange and the other colors are not blending. So I just put like a little bit of it. Now I'm just going to put on liner and I'm not going to be doing a wing because I am putting on false lashes. So I'm just going to be lining. Okay, now I'm going to be putting on my concealer. I use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in Y41. Kind of, they don't sell this anymore, but I know they have like a new, newer edition of this, but I don't know how that is, obviously, because I have an older one. Okay, this looks quite orangey. I look like Trump, so call me 2.0. It's like, this looks orange. I know it looks bad, but afterwards, I'm just going to be taking a translucent powder. This is just going to be evening out everything. So now I'm just going to be taking Lily Lashes in the style Miami Flare. James Charles made me buy it. This is my first time ever using these lashes, so let's see how this goes. Ooh, this is really chic. James Charles, he made me spend, I'm not saying however much. Mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> but I got them on sale on um, Lash Day. But still, it's still expensive because they were originally 30. Got them on, um, this was more, difficult than putting on my usual like my go-to natural lashes that I wear because this has a thick band that I'm not used to and this is kind of like bugging my inner corners which means that I had to cut them more down but it's good um I just feel like it's like I feel like I'm gonna cry because it's hurting so bad now I'm just gonna be taking my go-to blush which is the Too Faced in the shade Your King Your Love is King and I've been wearing this for years. Like, I'm sad that it's gone. But I bet you can find this at Marshalls or anything like that. That is a discontinued store. Um, but yeah. This blush, and it looks all I put a lot on. Yeah, you did. Sis, you didn't have to agree. It looks very harsh. Take some of that powder. This is what a smudge brush is, a stipple brush is for. I was going for that clown look if you guys didn't know. Taking my Too Faced Love Soleil bronzer. So now I'm just going to be putting on highly. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Sweets. Um, I'm going to be taking all of these, tapping the access, just putting them right here, 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 here. What I like to do is I just take like all like the access product from the actual palette because it is all fall like um, fallout you could say, and just putting it in the inner corners because I like to highlight that area. Just like that and then i'll do that so that it doesn't like really brighten your eyes if that makes sense um that's my eye look let's move on to lips so for my lips i always like to combine these two lipsticks uh this is by anastasia of course again this is anastasia um ashton and hudson i use i use this one first
And before this dries, I take Hudson, putting this in the inner, then getting a tissue, and just blot this. Okay, so I'm going to be using this um, Stormy Lip Gloss Collection. I got I got it during her Kylie Stormy Turning 2 edition. I don't know what the collection was called, but it was something with Stormy's birthday. Um, and this was the only thing that they had and everything was sold out, which was kind of sad because I was, you know, I wanted, I wanted to get the blush. Because I used the same blush for like five years. Don't tell nobody. Expired! Cough, cough, psych. Okay, so let's see which one I should use. Um, this one's in Little Sunshine. This is so cute. And I'm just going to be like... I don't wear lip gloss, but let's see. I don't like it. This is how I like matte formula so that I don't have to deal with this. Okay, lip gloss was a fail. I didn't really like it. Um, I hope this makeup tutorial just made sense. I feel like this... The blush could have gone a little... It's showing really... Right? So, this was it for my makeup tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I kind of look like a kusuri for some reason. I don't know why. I, I think the lights um, are reflecting me in there, you know, making me kind of chitta. Um... Chitta means Gora. Gora means white. So just any AK information from Iman. Um, but anyways, yes. Now I can see my facial hair, which is kind of bad for this makeup tutorial because Barnaby. I need to stop watching Bollywood yog. This is getting on my nerves. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, you should give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't already subscribed, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in a future video. And let me know down below what videos you guys want to see. Because I do read your guys' comments. Um, so yeah. Without further ado. I'll see you guys in another one.